about to be 2023. It's okay to date bigger, fat. See, this is what I've been talking about, right? First, this is what men have to deal with, right? She seems very hostile. Um, second, right? Fine. Date whoever you want, right? But it's... You look in her comment sections and all women are saying, you go, girl. Yeah, you're right. All this stuff, right? But it's funny, right? When men voice their standards and preferences, they're called a whole bunch of names. Misogynist, terrible, you're lying, the patriarchy, shit like that, right? If men want to date younger, beautiful women, right? Want to date women with low body count. Any kind of preference a man wants, he is shamed for it, right? If he doesn't want to date bigger women, he's shamed for it, right? So now she's telling her, you know, you should date bigger women, okay? But do these bigger women actually date bigger men? Because I've heard, well, I mean, I'm not saying they don't, right? But in general... What I've heard and seen is that they don't, right? They do date the men that are, you know, more fit or just skinnier than them. And it's funny that women don't date bigger men, right? Not in, not in general, not in mass, right? Because women don't like that either, right? Women don't date shorter men, not in general, not in mass, I'm, again, it's not in general, okay? Of course, there's always outliers, okay? There's always somebody's personal account that they do. Fine, but it's not in general, right? I'm just saying that, like, it's funny that she gets so much support for what she says, but when a man voices his thoughts, which is pretty much going in line with what she said, you know? Date who you want, right? And this is who I want to date. They get shamed for it. You know, it's like you people just don't ever see the hypocrisy in the things that they say or do, right? I'm all for it. Date who you want. You could say who you want. If it's legal, date who you want. But, you know, men just don't get the support. You know, men get shamed for it every day of who they, what type they want to date. Women, they're all support, especially from women, right? It's like we can't just. You know, go in line with, you know what, just say, who, date who you want. Good for you. That's it. Men are so superficial. Would you date a guy that's shorter than you? Absolutely not. I'd yeah. At least 6'2". At least 6'2". Yeah. How tall are you? 5'5". Five, 5'5". Five. Five, five. Yeah. So 6'2". 6'2", well, five, 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 yeah. bare minimum. Yeah, I just like tall dudes. See, this is, this clip is funny as shit, right? It shows you what women are like, right? They say one thing and do the opposite, right? Or they're pretty much what they say they are. They, if they, they say men are superficial, but they have superficial ideals. So really, we're alike. So really, why point it out, you know? There's no point in pointing out, saying, oh, men are superficial. They only want women for their looks. And yet, a lot of women I believe most women also like men for their looks. So what's the point? Doesn't do nothing. Or are you trying to, you know, like, uh, um, bust on men for that? I mean, like, so? I mean, women do the same. So what? there's no point. It's not, it's not like, uh, it's not a crack. It's not a, it's not a slight on men. You know, it's just, I'm showing you that the hypocrisy women don't see. They don't acknowledge it. Right? They don't acknowledge that um, how their dating habits are. They don't. You know, they don't acknowledge how they treat men. How they don't see the inequality of how they treat men. Right? They say a lot of things. Right? But they counter it. You know, say that men only want women for their looks. Yet they do the same. They go for the pretty boys, the muscular men. Um, the men that show off, you know, that's so really, you're no different. You're no different the things you say, right? Just like anything else, like you say, oh, oh I hate misogynistic men. 
but yet go for cheaters and abusers. You know, it's just, we're just showing, I'm just showing the hypocrisy of it, right? The light that women uh, don't want to see, don't agree with, don't want to it to be known, and you know, and how men just ignore it as well. They don't want to, they know it, but they don't want to acknowledge that it's a problem. Okay, fine. It's not a problem to you, but it's a problem to a lot of men. Because this woman will put a man down for the things that he likes, but it's fine that she likes it, right? Again, you'll put a man down for his standards and preferences, but you have it too. Everyone's allowed it. That's the point. This is Arena LA, 37, a property manager, two children. I boo. So what kind of man are you looking for? I need a man like Drake or better. Like Drake? Or better. Drake the rapper? Aubrey Drake Graham. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you say like Drake, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna specify. Do you mean like Drake as in success? Do you mean as like Drake as an appearance? Or do you mean both? Both. So who was more successful and looks better than Drake? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I mean, because think about it. You said you want to you, you said you want a man like Drake or better. Or better. So, mm -hmm. so, so Drake is the actual the lowest bar because that's the lowest you'll go. Yes. Have, I mean, you live in LA. You never ran into him. Drake is really Actually, a I'm glad you asked, Kendra. See. I'm only gonna answer your questions now. I'm not gonna just tell you everything, but I have. And believe believe it or not, I have. Like, I don't know if I want to put a hand on the Bible, I will tell some stories. I'd above this to the man three times and he actually has attempted. So that's why my confidence is so high because I've been in his same circles and he has tried. This is the thing that men have to deal with, right? That women ignore and men seem to not, some men seem to not um, acknowledge, right? <clears throat> a lot of men, average men especially, dealing with the type of women that she's dealt with the top percent of men and now she expect anything she doesn't expect any less which is fine again i have to reiterate this because uh, you know the feminists will come after me is that you can have whatever preference and standards you want right the issue is when you when you don't stick with them like in sense that you deal with average men and then you put average men down right because they're not drake right Drake's level. This is the problem, right? With especially with some men are deluded, right? And women is because when the top man, uh, a charming man, whatever kind of man, but a top percent man who's really not average, has dealt with this woman, left this woman, and now it's it's average men having to deal with it because they can't measure up to these other men, so they'd be put down. Okay, so. This is what we say by women have an in inflated ego, right? They had sex or somehow they dealt with these type of men, the special men, the top percent men, and they think that these men want them and they only they only have eyes with these type of men. Well, go for them. Stay with these type of men, which obviously you can't. You can't stick with them because they don't want you. They will cheat on you. They will do whatever to you know they're not monogamous but you so you get so you want the type of men that are not monogamous right but you think the monogamous men are not good enough it's, it's a cycle you know it, it just it, it is a crazy cycle that women go through does weight matter on a guy no it doesn't no so you could date a fat guy yeah no problem no so i have a chance we could be really good friends only if you're going to take me to brunch, maybe you would have a chance. All right, all right. Men having to lead essentially with their wallet because she doesn't find you attractive unless you use money. There are women that will accept you just because you have money and they're okay with it. They'll go, oh, whatever, at least he... The thing why I say that women have a laundry list of things, right? You have to check off most of them or a good majority of them, right? You could be ugly, but you better be rich, right? You could be poor, but you better be good looking, right? You could be, you know, really uh, ugly, maybe not rich, but you better have, I don't know, good D and mad ass charm. It's like, 
it's always something. If you don't mark up most, then you're definitely not gonna be on the list. And it's obvious the, the what's the list, you know? And none of it is really morals, right? Respecting a woman, nah, they don't say that, you know? Character, nah, they don't say that, right? It's funny that this woman, you, know, you have to lead with you. You have to lead with your part, your with your wallet. If you're if you're ugly, if you're an ugly man, you better lead with your wallet. That's what society tells us, right? That's what women tell us. It's funny that they they lie to themselves and they lie to others, right? About what they really want because what they really want is not PC. It's not it's not part of the feminist movement, right? Equality. It's not, right? So really, women will lie to you right they will lie to you they will lie in your comment sections you know saying oh this that that oh i just want a man who's like who's uh mentally stable no you don't you don't you're lying right you know why i'm you know why i know you're lying because history has proven that you're a liar right life you know a man's life prove that women are liars right it's proven that what women want they're lying about it because they won't tell you what they truly want because it's not it's it's very it, it is very um un pc of them right like i said they want a man with looks six feet six abs or a fake dad body uh they want a man with money you know the more the better you know a man that could provide a life that they want right they want a man that's been with a lot of women the charm a man that would charm, that's funny, that can't talk to women. Don't believe them. And I'm speaking about the general. Not, not, the exceptions are always there, but men deal with the general. You look lonely. This is really not about her because we've all seen like plenty of uh makeup videos of women and i gotta say makeup is like the devil's art because literally it's not for men you know really they don't because they do it really to not not well okay let me rephrase it they do it not to please men they do it to trick men Especially for the average man, I mean, like, it's nice. I'm not saying, like, makeup is nice because, like, have you seen it? Like, it's a drastic change. The woman is, like, a seven. And now, without it, she's definitely not a seven. Uh, so, I mean, it's nice, but, I mean, like, you are not... And, again, you're not picking a quality man because you are lying to men, right? Because you, you're making men not want you purely on who you are they want you on some kind of a image you're trying to portray right and fine if it's for other women or to make you feel good great you know do it at home do it when you're by yourself but when you're outside and especially if you entertain any kind of advances then you're not doing it for yourself right you're literally giving a false image to the opposite gender, you know, or to men, whoever you want to date, uh, a false image, right? And I think it's not fair to you and it's not fair to the men. Again, men will perceive you as one way when it's actually not, right? So it's just, I've seen some drastic, drastic changes and I'm like, wow, I just think it's, Back in the day, it was just like, you know, some, I guess, foundation and blush and lipstick. But now it's like contouring and all this crap. You like, you, you change drastically. I mean, like, some women is like a three to, an, to a seven. I mean, like, the, the change is immense, you know? And it's just like, why? Why are you doing that? Because, again, like I said, you're giving a false, false image to people and then you... I believe you track the wrong people for the wrong reasons. I mean, just I'm just amazed. I'm amazed by women and their skills. Like I gotta admit, it's skillful. It's very skillful. The change you can do is insane, right? Especially for just this is not you know like you're trying to be a costume. I mean, costume makeup or like 
special effects makeup. That is insane, the skill of women with makeup. Crazy.